I'm Erica Hurley. I am the commander of East Precinct in the Portland Police Bureau. We obviously are East Portland. East Precinct is unique in many ways, I think, in the city of Portland. And one of the things that I see as being the best is the community that we serve. East Precinct has a huge variation of people that live in this community and community members. We have a lot of both business areas, if you think of Gateway and Mall 205 and those areas that are high in business, but we have a lot of residential areas as well. You saw out on 82nd, those are businesses, and it goes right into a residential neighborhood. I think the biggest asset we have in the Portland Police Bureau of everything that we have is the officers that work for us, uh, and that's hands down. We have officers out here who truly care about the community and care about each other, and they care about keeping the community safe. Several months ago, one of my lieutenants came to me because we have a stolen car problem out here in East, and he really wanted to figure out a way to solve it. So he wrote a mission plan together and asked me to approve the ability for them to go out and do these missions, and we've been doing them since late last year with some amazing results. We run those missions about twice a month now. We pick up the data, right, and look at where the cars are being stolen from, where certain crimes that we know that the stolen cars are um, being used in are within the precinct, and then we do each mission based on that data. They're all on overtime um, based on staffing. Obviously, we don't have the staffing to do it without overtime, but my cops have been absolutely great signing up for the overtime, going out and working those shifts. They do an amazing job at them. Uh, and really have made some good progress. Okay, follow up, please. One of our biggest struggles right now really is staffing. In East Precinct, we should have 121 officers to uh, police this area, and we have about 99 that are actually able to go out on the street right now. Our community doesn't understand why it takes us hours to get to some of the lower priority calls. Even our high priority calls now is taking us longer to get to, which we worry about and our officers worry about. The types of calls our officers are taking, with the staffing levels they are, it's becoming more and more dangerous. So like this street here, we've had uh, three homicides, I think, just in the last few months. The city, uh, crime rate has gone up. We have a very high number of shootings. That's obviously what's talked about. But our officers still go out and do that job every day. They go out there and they're willing to put their lives and, and their safety on the line to protect the citizens in the community of Portland. I get emails all the time for people that just want to thank my cops for having compassion. And I don't think people really realize that it makes a difference, right? That people appreciate it. And when they send the emails and they have the thank you cards, it's not unnoticed by the police bureau and it's not unnoticed by those of us who work here. So thank you.